Hey everybody, welcome to another reading of the Bible. We are approaching the end of chapter of the book of Exodus, Exodus here. So I'm going to read 30 and I'm going to see how much I can read in 10 minutes. Thou shalt make an altar to burn incense upon of shittim wood, shittim wood, shall thou make it, shalt thou make it. A cubit shall be the length thereof, and a cubit the breadth thereof, four square shall it be. And two cubits shall be the height thereof, the horns thereof shall of be of the same. Thou shalt overlay it with pure gold, the top thereof, and the sides thereof round about it, and the horns thereof, and thou shalt make unto it a crown of gold round about. Two golden rings shalt thou make to it under the crown of it, by the two corners thereof, upon the two sides of it sh shalt thou make it. And thou shalt be, and they shall be for places for the stave to bear it withal. Thou shalt make the stave of sitting wood, and overlay them with gold. Thou shalt put it before the veil that is by the ark of the testimony, before the mercy seat that is over the testimony, where I will meet with thee. Aaron shall burn thereon sweet incense every morning when he dresseth the lamps, and he shall burn incense upon it. When Aaron lighteth the lamps at evening, he shall burn incense upon it, a perpetual incense before the Lord throughout your generations. He shall offer no strange incense thereon, nor burnt sacrifice, nor meat offering, neither shall ye pour drink offering thereon. Aaron shall make an atonement upon the horns of it once in a year, with the blood of the sin offering of atonements. Once in a year shall he make atonement upon it throughout your generations. It is most holy unto the Lord. The Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Where thou takest the sum of the children of Israel after their number, then shall they give every man a ransom for his soul unto the Lord when thou numberest them that there be no plague among them when thou numberest them. This they shall give every one that passeth among them that are numbered, half a shekel after the shekel of the sanctuary. A shekel is twenty giras. A half shekel or ten giras shall be the offering, shall be the offering of the Lord. Every one that passeth among them that are numbered from twenty years old and above shall give an offering unto the Lord. The rich shall not give more, and the poor shall not give less than half a shekel. When they give an offering unto the Lord to make an atonement for your souls, thou shalt take the atonement money of the children of Israel, and shalt appoint it for the service of the tabernacle of the congregation, that it will be, that it may be a memorial unto the children of Israel before the Lord to make an atonement for your souls. The Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Thou shalt also make a laver of brass, and his foot also of, of brass, to wash withal. To wash withal, and thou shalt put it between the tabernacle of the con con congregation and the altar, and thou shalt put water therein. For Aaron and the son shall wash their hands and their feet thereat. When they go into the tabernacle of the congregation, they shall wash the water with water, that they die not. Or when they come near to the altar to minister, to burn offering made, made by fire unto the Lord. So, so, so they shall wash their hands and their feet, that they die not, and it shall be a statue forever to them, even to him and to his seed throughout the generations. Moreover, the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Take thou also unto the principal spices of pure myrrh, five hundred shekels, and of sweet cinnamon, half, half so much, even two hundred and fifty shekels, and of sweet calamus. Sweet calamus, uh -oh. <laughs> Sweet calamus, two hundred and fifty shekels. Turn the page here. Uh, and uh, uh, of Kasha, or Kasia, Kasia, 
500 shekels after the shekel of the change uh, and of olive of and of oil olive a hen thou shalt make it an oil of holy ointment an ointment compound after the art of the apoc apothecar apothecary Ooh. okay <laughs> uh, perfumer that's <laughs> <laughs> perfumer, that's a better word. Uh, after the art of the perf perfumer, it shall be a holy anointing oil. Thou shalt anoint the uh, tabernacle of the congregation therewith, and the ark of the testimony. The table and all his vessels, and, and the candlestick and his vessels, and the altar of incense, the, the altar of burnt, burnt offering with all his vessels, and the laver uh, in his foot. Thou shalt sanctify them that they may be most holy. Whatsoever toucheth them shall be holy. Thou shalt anoint Aaron and his sons and consecrate them that they may minister unto me in the priest's office. Thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel, saying, This shall be a holy anointing oil unto me throughout your generations. Upon man's flesh shall it not be poured, neither shall ye make any, any other like it after the comp composition of it. It is holy, and it shall be holy unto you. Whosoever compoundeth anything like it, or whosoever putteth anything of it upon a stranger, shall even be cut off from his people. The Lord said unto Moses, Take unto these sweet spices, Stache, 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 S T A C T E and Onicha Onika O N Y C H A and Galbanum, Galbanum these sweet spices with pure frankincense of each shall there be a like weight. Thou shalt make it thou shalt make it a perfume a confection after the art of the perfumer <laughs> apothecary apothecary temp tempered together pure and holy. Thou shalt beat some of it very small and put it, put of it before the testimony in the tabernacle of the congregation where I will meet with thee it shall be unto you most holy. As for the perfume which thou shalt make, ye shall not make to yourselves according to the composition thereof. It shall be unto thee holy for the Lord. Whosoever shall make like unto that to smell thereto shall even be cut off from his people. And we'll stop there and now continue reading at the next stop.